Hi, welcome to the C Sharp programming tutorial. The last tutorial we looked at getting set methods. We created a brand new class called Passing Class in a new file, and that's it there. And we put methods and we put public and private variables in it so we, we could show you the difference between public and private to do with how you get access to it. And so, with the private ones, we needed to use a set to set the, the variable and the get to return the value so we could see it from outside the class. But what we've been doing is passing by value, and so with the set, we've been passing an integer num and a string, a string sentence. Well, that is a value we're passing to the as a parameter to the method. And whatever happens to that num doesn't doesn't change the original num from a variable. Um, so passing by value doesn't ch change alter. I say if we add five to num, the num doesn't change. Though we've done that and we can pass it on to something else. But if we pass by reference, what we're doing, we've got say we've got like private num. Um, variable in memory. If we pass that by reference, any changes we make with that um, variable in the method will be changed permanently to the the variable stored in memory. So if we add 10 to it, 10 will be added to it. If we add 2 to it, 2 will be added to it. If we multiply it with something, that figure will change and stay the, the same. That doesn't happen with passing by value, and that's what we've been doing. So I'm going to show you how to pass by reference and it's a keyword called ref and that means that this is getting passed by reference and we're just going to look at the set private number here we're just going to so what we've said is that this this method has a number an integer number passed to it with the memory address of that variable so that any changes that's made to it will be made permanently to that variable because of this reference passing by reference and so if we go to the, the second one and if we take away the if we take away these ones here because we're only going to be looking at the one method Now, this is highlighted because what we were doing is we were passing by a value, a raw number, which wasn't associated with any variable or memory location, um, variable stored in the memory location. And so we could just type in a number passing by value. Um, and so what we'll do is int num equals 34. Right. And so and what we'll do is we'll put num in here so we're passing 34 but what we're going to do instead of just passing num we pass ref num we're passing this here we're passing this here by we're passing this by memory the, the memory location by reference and so any changes made inside this method we're passing it into will be permanent to, to this 34. So if I go back to the method, so it's private equals num. What we're going to do is num. What we're going to do is we're going to take away the, the private. It's no longer a set, so it's called set. We're going to say num equals num plus so we're going to add 5 to it when it comes in and then we'll, we'll run the, the method twice so that you can see watch it's this is the method getting printed to screen this is and it will be 0 let's see we've changed the method right. that's for set so we're going to, what if it's passed in here, it's going to 
it's going to make that, but we took that away, so it's just going to add 5 to 5. 5 to 5. Okay. So since we changed the set method, we're going to have to change the get method. And let's see. I'm going to pass in int num and so if I come back to the second one we've got this here and we're going to pass in we're going to pass in not by reference just to see what it is we're going to pass in num we're going to pass this in here so what we're going to do we're going to print out what private we're going to take this away because we don't no that's good print out get private num Yeah, we're going to print out what that there is. Then this method's going to add 5 to it. And then we're going to print it out to see what it actually, if it's 5 added to it. So let's see what happens. There's an error. Um, and we need to put them in here as well. So. So what we've got is 0041, 40, programming 41 was from a tutorial before. Let's see, get and get, let's see what's wrong. Yeah, it's the get method. We're still returning private num, though we took private num, num, num out of this. So what we do is just return what we passed. We return this here, num. And we return here, and so what's going to happen now? What what we're going to return is not this here, which is zero, which is printed to screen. We're going to print whatever is passed, return whatever is passed. So we're going to return this. So this will be it with add five added to it. Let's see what happens. So what you've got here is thirty-four the original number, and five added to it is thirty-nine. And what we're going to do to to prove it, we'll go back to the second one, and we do so. What we do, what we're doing is we're sending num thirty. It's thirty four there, but by the time it comes here, it's going to be thirty nine, and then we're going to print out. We're going to print out. The 39 but with 5 added to it will be 30, 44 and so so we're going to print it out. What we're doing, we're passing 34 in here, 5 gets added to it here, this is becomes 39 permanently, 39 gets passed in here, we add 5 to it, this becomes 44 and this 44 gets printed out here. So there you go, 34, 39, 44. And so that's passing by reference. It's that every change we're making to that integer, that variable, is becoming permanent. Well, what we were doing, we were passing um, it by value um, to the methods without the reference keyword. And so any changes we were making to it wasn't having an effect on the variable sto stored in memory. It was staying the same value. So, but that's what you do want, is you run a method, um, it's a, you, you have many different objects, you inst many different instances of the same class, and so each one has a different copy of that class, so each one has a different copy of that variable, and so they tend to work an object on the program with copies rather than, rather than reference, but you can still work with reference if that's, if it may be ideal that you want to do that, but that's that's working with reference. And so ref is a keyword. Um, if to pass by value, you would be just num and nothing else. And if we go back to the methods, we've said int num is going in there. That's to get. But when we were setting it, we used the ref number 
we could put the F in there, but we're not doing anything with it. So it's not going to change anything. All we're doing is just passing it in to, to send it back out again, so we can print it to screen. So that's that's passing by reference and passing by value. Again, thank you for your time.